Hello students. Welcome to the new academic year of your 5th standard 2020-21. You must be feeling bored at home. But no worries. I am here. Myself, Hiral Patel, I am going to guide you with your math subject. I will start session 1 with your chapter number 1. So, let us move and study well. Best of luck. So, in this chapter, they are teaching you different mathematical concepts with the help of the theme of the fish and fisherman. In short, it gives you a practical experience dealing with the world of the fish and fisherman. So, different mathematical concepts which they cover in this chapter are shapes. You know very well different shapes. Secondly, they are dealing with the estimation. But as far as I know that estimation is a little bit new topic for you. Thirdly, they are dealing with different mathematical simple operations that you know very well. Addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Then speed, then mass, and the totally new concept for you is loan and interest paid on it. So let us start working on it. So here in this chapter, very first, they are talking about a haiku. That is Japanese poem, very popular in Japan. Generally, this poem is made up of three lines. And that's why it's called haiku. You can pay attention there. The lake, calm, smooth. A fish jumps up and returns. Ripples shake the lake. Now, moving towards to the shape. Here I would like to ask you people to take a small paper, piece of paper, pencil, scale, and you will try to draw a square and a triangle and you'll make a fish you'll use only two shapes and you will draw the fish let us start are you ready with the pen paper and scale see i have also tried here see the step one i have drawn a square then see the second step triangle and in the last third fish I have drawn using a square and a triangle. Same way you can use number of shapes to draw a fish. You know ships are of different kinds and different size and different shapes. Not only fish Different sea animals also you can draw. You can see here different shapes. Jinsi has used different shapes to make drawing of fish. Different sea animals also you can see here. Now let us proceed to the next mathematical concept. That is 
estimation. If I try to explain in one word, I can call it approximation. You will be a little puzzled about, I know. Don't worry. So estimation means to develop a judgment or a rough calculation of the value, number or quantity. In short, you have to em empower your imagination part. So let us start this practice, estimating practice. Now, just estimate the size of the smallest fish. Imagine, okay, I'll try. So the size of the smallest fish can be one centimeter long. Same way, just imagine the size of the biggest fish. That can be 18 meter long. Now the question is, how many times longer is the biggest fish than the smallest fish. So let us solve. One meter is equal to 100 centimeters that you all know very well. So automatically 18 meters is equal to 1800 centimeters. So it will be 1800 times longer than the smallest fish. Now, you can see in the, on the screen, the biggest fish is the whale shark. It is actually not a whale, but is a big, big fish. Whales are different from fish. You know, whales breathe like we do through their noses. But fish have no noses. They take in water, not air. Simultaneously, whales give birth to babies, but fish lay eggs. The whale shark fish looks big and dangerous, but is quite harmless. It does not attack humans. So now one whale shark was a long as long as 18 meter. Just think how long that is. Almost 12 children of your size standing one on top of the other. And guess what it weighed? Well, much, much more than what 12 of your together weigh. Its weight was about 16,000 16, kg. Papri, too heavy. So, now again, estimation starts. How many kilograms do you weigh? Okay, we'll deal with that later on. But, let me proceed with the pools of fish. You know something different about fish? Fish like to swim together in sea in a big group called schools of fish. In their school, they feel safe from the bigger fish. As we are safe staying at home from every disease and harm. So, stay home. Now, Again, just estimate. We have revealed that the weight of the whale shark is 16,000 kg. Now you must be aware about your own weight. But let us estimate about around 30 kg. What will be the total weight of 12 children like you? Simple. 
one child 30 kg same way 12 children 30 multiplied by 12 so the total weight will be 360 kg now the question is how much more does the whale shark weigh than 12 children of your weight comparison you have to find out the difference that is we will subtract 16,000 kg minus 360 kg will give you 15,640 kg. The whale shark weighs 15,640 kg more than the 12 children's total weight. Now let us talk about the speed of the different types of boat in the sea. Now when we talk about boat, of course, we come, we think about sea, then fish, then fishermen, fishermen take boat in the mid of the sea for the fishing purpose. And there are different types of boats. Here they are talking about the log boat. Log boats means the boats which are made up of wood. Made up of logs of wood. Here they are talking about the speed about the log boat. Speed that is 4 km per hour. So the log boat travels or covers the distance of four kilometer per hour. Now the question is, how long will they take to go a distance of 10 kilometers? So simple, four kilometer distance is covered in one hour. So 10 kilometer distance covered in 10 multiplied by one divided by four. So 10 multiplied by one, you know very well, 10 ones are 10. And then it will be divided by 4. And the quotient you get is 2 hours and 30 minutes. That is 2 and half hours. So, thank you for this session. We'll meet for the next session, next day. Have a good day. Have a nice day.